Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 29th, 2018. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic weekend and you're ready to get going here on the new trading week. Hey, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. That really helps me out in getting the algorithms to show these videos to more folks. And also always feel um, perfectly, it's perfectly okay to share this video with any friends and family. I have no problem with that. It's free to everyone. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at the market. And hey, I want to ask you to um, hold on to the end of the video here because I do have um, something at the end I want to share with you, maybe a trade idea that everyone might be interested in. So let's take a look here at the Dow. The, the Dow is, this morning, we're seeing futures pushing the market higher. We're having lots and lots of earnings this morning coming out. And so far, the Dow is pushing higher. But here's one thing I want to be really careful to, to mention to everyone, that we have several times already in this sell-off had false breakouts or false moves where we rally into a resistance point and then we reverse that day or um, what we call a pop and drop in the market where we pop up early in the morning that is not actually supported by buyers and then we sell off into the day. Now, I'm not trying to predict that's what's going to happen here today. What I'm trying to suggest is that we need a little bit of proof. You know, one of the things just rampant over the weekend was everyone out there in the in the in the press and you know across all the social media platforms uh, that uh, the bottom was in that the market is oversold that it necessarily has to bounce from here folks please let me remind you that just because the market is oversold is not a reason to buy it's not a reason to believe that the bulls are going to automatically come rushing back in and this turns into a bullish market. What we need is we need proof in price action. We need proof that the buyers will actually start to support price. So how does that occur? Well, it always occurs the same way in the market. We get proof after the market has been trending lower of a rally and a higher low gets placed. Proof that buyers are going to support price action and push the market higher. And so right now, all we have is wild speculation off this bottom. And that's why we've had so many people getting burned here lately in the market. They chase that big move up and bang, we get sold off. They chase that big move up and bang, we get sold off. Don't let the market continue to do that to you. Wait for proof. And you know, the thing is, I know everyone has this fear of missing out. Oh my gosh, I'm going to miss the big move. And it's all going to be over. Okay. Well, let's keep in mind that if we were to take a look at the downtrend here, that we could gap clear up to here and still not break the downtrend and have a possibility of failure. So what I want to suggest to you is let the market rally. Let the market prove that we are going to go up. We don't have to speculate on that. When we can actually break through a resistance and hold it as support, very much to what we did over here, break this downtrend, rally, find buyers holding on to the, the support level, then we have a better path to profitability than just wild speculation or jumping in right before we catch that next breakdown. Okay. Let's keep in mind, earnings have not been stellar. Earnings have not been coming in great. We have about 1200 companies reporting earnings this week. Expect lots of volatility, expect a tremendous amount of whipsaws and even overnight gap reversals. So plan your risk carefully. If you do decide to trade, 
But remember, you're not really going to miss out of anything because if we do finally break the downtrend, get a rally going, what will happen is volatility will likely decline and we'll have an easier way into the trade. Keep that in mind when you're planning your week ahead. Just expect lots of volatility with what's going on. Um, so certainly, Diamond's still in a downtrend. And the bullish side of that is that we did manage to hold on to this price support on Friday. And if we can actually get some follow through to the upside and start breaking some levels of resistance that we've created, then we could start seeing the market improve. SPY, if we look across all of these um, indexes, we're going to see the same thing where we really tried to hold on to some support levels in the market. We have this downtrend here that has to be breached so a break above a hold of support could be just what we're looking for here in the market is the market oversold maybe but i would not rule out the market loves to shake people out so i would not rule out the possibility of another flush depending on whether or not these earnings continue to roll in positive or, or negatively let's take a look at the cues Q's moving down, um, obviously, strongly. There's nothing in this price action yet that engenders any confidence in this market. We are gapping up this morning significantly here in the Q's, and we're gapping right into this price resistance. So kind of keep that in mind. That is the failure point that we have failed at and failed at and failed at and failed at and failed at all the way down so we need to break through that level and hold above that as support before we can really get that warm and fuzzy that the bulls are actually going to support price action for the short term let's take a look at iwm iwm has just been so sickly and um, obviously did not show any improvement of that move on uh, Friday and now we're gapping up this morning close to Friday's high gapping up this morning but let's keep in mind we're still in a downtrend and this has a lot of work to do to start breaking through that downtrend and breaking through some important resistance levels to show that bullish support in the market um so watch that close and be careful not to chase be careful not to chase those folks that have been chasing lately have just been getting beat to death with those overnight reversals and uh, pop and drop type patterns let's take a look at the vix here the vix certainly uh, pulled back on friday a little bit but we're a long ways from being out of the woods here on the VIX. VIX still has the potential of showing some substantial fear here in the market, which means volatility. Volatility could be very challenging. And with um, so many earnings this week, we could certainly expect that to continue. Now, keep in mind, we are currently holding this uptrend. Uptrend is called when you move up, pull back, hold a higher low, and then move higher. So we are currently in an uptrend. Hopefully today with this gap up morning and hopefully some follow through with some buyers, that will start to pull back. We'll have to wait and see. But remember, in February, February, we spiked all the way up here on fear. And that's one, one of the reasons why I don't want to rule out the possibility that we could have another flush in the market. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, T2122. I'll tell you if there's anything out there right now that that gives me a little bit of confidence that we could see a, a bit of a sustained rally. What I hate to see are these, these big gap ups because those big gap ups create that condition where we can get that big whipsaw down. If we could just get some steadiness to the market here for a little bit, that would certainly help. 
but we've been down here in this bullish reversal zone and you can see this is a very consistent indicator when we get down in this area for a rally but here's one of those big gap up runs in a day that got completely reversed and that's why i don't want to see those big gap up runs i want to see that nice steady um, bottom building pattern here where we can start to move up so we always have to be a little bit careful of those big spike moves because lately they certainly haven't held and so watch that closely and be very very careful how you trade that let's take a look at uh, one other indicator it's t2108 t2108 is and i'm going to go to a weekly on this um, is one another one of those indicators that can show us when we've reached um, that possible oversold condition and you can see we get down in here and we tend to be oversold and we catch a rally and all this is the stocks above their 40-day average and hopefully we'll start to see some of that rally but once again I really hate seeing when they just spike that move up <coughs> All at once uh, because that um, really leaves us with the possibility of major intraday whips or even a full-on gap down reversal tomorrow because of earnings reports so keep that in mind so let's take a look at the economic calendar today economic calendar today um, starts off this week right right away with um, personal income and outlays that'll be out here at 8 30 a.m this morning we have a fed speaker the the dallas fed survey which i wouldn't expect to move the market at all and four bond events today to kind of keep in mind of on the earnings calendar today we had a um, a large group of earnings and they're continuing to roll out remember over the course of this week we're going to have about 1200 companies reporting so please 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 do your job as a trader and that is check all of your current holdings and those trades that you're thinking about buying against that earnings report we don't want to be caught by a big surprise remember the market rarely rewards laziness so always make sure you that's part of your your uh, daily preparation part of your habit is to check those earnings reports so hey everyone I promised everyone a possible trade idea let's take a look at a uh, there's a couple of them here actually go go GoGo -Go is a possible trade idea and you can see GoGo -Go is trending moving up in here if we throw some moving averages on there we're getting very very close to this 200 day moving average which could provide it some resistance but I got to tell you overall this is a really nice pattern you can see the trend is good and consistent and you can see our next actual price resistance level is clear up in here so we have plenty of potential room for at least percentage wise for an upside in here you can see if we were to are uh, able to catch this price right in here just moving that up to the next resistance level is about a 22 percent gain overall in that chart pretty darn nice trade assuming it can pop through that 200 day moving average um, one to take a look at and another one real quickly here that I really think is a beautiful chart and it's another small stock um, NIHD nice little bullish engulfing candle holding trend holding support trying to look pretty darn uh, bullish here so if this can move and you can see right now this morning it's gapping higher following through to uh, on that bullish move might be one to take a look at if you're um, really interested in finding a trade today please keep in mind that just because the market is gapping up and racing higher does not necessarily mean you should be gambling on this move you may want to wait for that higher low or that good price position to enter this trade so just because i'm showing you a couple of bullish trade ideas does not necessarily mean i'm suggesting you need to blindly run into this market okay make sure you plan all of your trades carefully make sure you have uh, that they fit you for your risk tolerance on any trade that you enter so with that everyone have an awesome day we'll talk to you very very soon bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.